we're going to place the eye right up here because we're low and the eye is, you want to put it out as far as you can away. When you do your watercolor, you, you want to know that that's going to be in hard edge. This is going to soften just so when you, when you go there, this is, you're going to soften here. So we're going to go unilateral triangle, find the ear and we'll see if it's going to work because we're going to come down here with a neck. We're going to turn around. <clears throat> we're going to find a neck that could correspond to hair. All right, now I have scale. So now I'm going to go from, from my chin to my, my uh, forehead where the hairline intercepts hair. If we, if we can draw this properly, get this scale, find out where these things line up, think things should go pretty smoothly. Let's, see, let's find a nice design element here we can use. <clears throat> Try to, when you do your drawing, try to turn around the form. Now we're going to go around and away, so this is only going to be half tone over here. Going to go around your, your hand form. So you always want to, if you can, you always want to have a form that goes around the, the hand. This is the edge, remember the edge of the form. Right away, we're going to come in and feather. This is my hardest shadow right here. Right here. While this is wet, I'm going to add my color here. Okay. Beautiful color going through. I want you to go to the universe immediately. I want you to learn to do that. Any color you want. I just want you to learn to do it because this is what watercolor is. And let it just kind of bleed. If you do a complementary in here, two, what that does, that makes a gray, a beautiful gray. Blend, a little more edge up here, blend, soft, feather. See what you can get away with? You, that's all you need. If you're okay, that's, it's your call, but you don't need a lot. You want all these little guys to kind of, uh, kind of dance, uh, this color to dance. And you know, I like to mix my blue so we see it, right? Remember, we've talked about that, right? Because it's a watercolor and we get away with it. I'm going to feather some of this. I found it here is better when it's feathered, otherwise it's too. So you just do like this. It'll activate. Now watch, I'll put another color in here. You know, it'll activate your pinks. Mm -hmm. Oops. A little in here. It, it just goes beyond. We do this, we do this, we do that. We got, we have a much more interesting piece. I'm gonna turn the forehead away from the viewer. Hold on. There we go. Now there's a highlight that I didn't. That you can go in and move here with it with the water and blot it out. There's a highlight there.